Come on, wake it up, wake it up, boy. You know, man, come on, man. Are you large and in charge, man? Are you fitting that bracket of a higher level? This is why you gotta wake it up, wake it up. Wake this shit up, wake it up. You know what I'm saying? For you dumb slow motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Up the ante on them. Hey, man, you know, a lot of you guys ask me about questions. You pertaining to health, you know, and things like that. And let me tell you, man, it started off just like this. Listen, you gotta go through a phase in your life where you discipline yourself, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you consume certain things, you see how your body reacts to certain things. This is part of the program. It just ain't about working out. See, I had to, I had to learn this in the in the penitentiary because how my mom was cooking and fried pork chops, nigga, tacos all the time. You feel me? Fried chicken, all the shit. You know how black we eat. You know how we eat. Quit playing. Listen, now that I'm forty, you feel that shit. You feel me? You feel all that motherfucking grease. You know what I'm saying? You gotta extract that shit from your from your system, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, so it was like, boom. When I adopted the workout and put that in my everyday program and I decided to make that decision there, I knew along the way that I would have to start eating better. Boy, it was hard too. Not putting no butter and sugar in your oatmeal. You feel me? Not just the condiments, take that, uh, you know, Take them out last, you know what I'm saying? It's just the everyday shit, the the the, the drinks you consume, the, the and all the food you consume, that's gonna be bad for you in the long haul. Straight the fuck up. Listen, so I had to do it myself. Remember, look, see, life isn't always about you need somebody uh, holding your hand, telling you what you should be doing, you feel me? Of course you need good motivators around you. You feel me? You want that type of energy. But somebody shouldn't have to tell you to correct something in your life all the time, every step of the way. That's not how it's going to go. It'll never go that way. You got to learn to develop this shit and put it within your being, your goddamn self. Straight like that. It ain't no other way. So you work on things small. You, you work on things in small increments. Remember, if you try to do everything all at once, it's a crash course. I'm telling you right now, you're going to crash. Putting my hands in my pockets, I'm just waiting. You're gonna crash. You feel me? Yeah, straight up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta start. And you have to see how you start feeling after you start adding things in and taking them out and doing what you do. You feel what I'm saying? But it is very important. And people think that you know, um, oh man, you know, I love eating a, a, a big variety of things and whoopie whoop. That's cool and all. You know, if you're an exotic eater, that, that's cool. If you're an exotic, hungry ass eater, that, that's cool. But what I found is that the same routine with a little bit of this and a little bit of that seems to work best. You feel me? Because you can calculate what you eat. You can calculate the calories. You can calculate the fats. You can calculate the carbs. You feel me? You can calculate the sodium. You can calculate the serving. So the more you know about what you consume, the better off you'll be. And a lot of things that we eat, you might go to this restaurant, you're having a good time, you don't know how that shit is really cooked. So don't just think eating out all the time is the solution. No, that's not the case. That don't mean you're just gonna be eating salads every day and all day. See, somebody, some people's body can take that. Like me, I'm a big nigga. I gotta have carbs up in my system, you feel me? I need them carbs, nigga, to get the motor, nigga, cranking. You feel me? I'm not a nigga that can just steak and broccoli, steak and broccoli, or just, you know, no carbs, take it out my, take it out my whole diet. No. No. I be feeling weak and sluggish. I need them carbs. You feel what I'm saying? It's the diesel. You feel me? I got to yeah, fill the, fill the tank up. Y'all know how the shit go. Come on, y'all should know how it go. So start adjusting things to your body type. And then see your problem. And then, and then also, while you're doing this, See the, because nobody's perfect. So figure out the problems that you have in your diet and what you eat. You might say, hey, man, I'm only going to eat out two times a week. I'm only going to eat KFC or whatever the fuck you eat that, you know, McDonald's or whatever, or whatever, whatever you eat that you know you, you, you really shouldn't eat. Because a lot of us eat like this on a daily basis. 
This is what it is. And boy, when you strip all that shit away from your, away from yourself, you be feeling. It's gonna take you a minute. You gotta charge back up. You feel me? But that's why they say, man, health is wealth, because you can't get to the motherfucking wealth if your health ain't right. It's diesel talk, boy. We gonna do what it do, man. We gonna walk the walk and talk the talk, man. Y'all gotta stay large and in charge, man. Up the ante on them. You feel me? What you scared of hurdle passing next motherfucker for? You feel me? For what? Hurdle passing? You know what I'm saying? And get on. What the fuck? Niggas can't be acting super bombity. Niggas act super bombity. Get on your program. We ain't finna be talking about all this. What we talking about this year? This shit finna be over. It's getting ready to be 2023. You really need to be thinking about 24. Why do I have to go into 23 and beyond? You feel me? All this other shit about what you should do. All the, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna get to this. I'm gonna get to that. Nah, do this shit right now. You gotta be your own calendar. You gotta, yo, 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 you, your mind is your calendar. You create things when you want it to happen, especially for yourself. You don't need this shit to happen on New Year's. You don't need it to happen on New Year's. It can happen right now. What you waiting on? Bombity. Oh man, I'm on New Year's. Ah, oh, nah, fuck all that, man. You don't even talk about New Year's resolutions no more. You feel me? So if you want any people to put yourself in that category, you feel me? You want the uh, you want the ass in. You know what the ass in is like. You know what the ass in is like. Listen, are you gonna be on the ass in, or are you gonna be the main thing? This 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 help leading the cargo. You feel me? The locomotive, it's diesel talk, boy. I'm gone. Oh, yeah. Y'all know what y'all need to do, too, man, before I get up out of here, man. You nigga up the ante. You feel me? Put that motherfucking thumbs up. Don't stick it up your ass. Thumbs up. Feel me? Don't stick it up your ass, though. You feel me? And subscribe to this shit, boy.